What's up, my fearless networking friends? Todd Falcone here with another another episode. So this this is going to be kind of a fun one. So I want you to think about this. So um, so how do you know a good prospect when you see one versus a bad one? Well, I don't know. I mean, can you can you really tell? You know, the, the truth is, you know, you you can't you can't you can't. Uh, I mean, I think to some extent you can you can look at somebody and go. I mean, I don't I don't I don't want to be mean here, but. Uh, you know, if, if there's somebody who looks like they've been, you know, sucking down meth every day and they're, you know, on the side of the street saying, hey, uh, we'll work for meth, uh, it's probably not somebody that I'm going to be like running to, to go, you know, talk to about my business. And, and, you know, hopefully they'll get some help and get off the streets or whatever. But uh, so from that standpoint, I think we can look at somebody uh, and, 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 and we can have some idea whether they're a decent prospect or not if we if we go to to that extreme but there's like people that you're, you're going to look at that you you know you, you don't know i mean nobody would have ever necessarily said hey you know this guy from long beach state is going to be a great candidate for network marketing like i've been doing this for a long long time and somebody gave me a chance somebody somebody reached out to me and actually they didn't know anything about me other than the fact that I mean, I, you know, I was, some of you guys don't know this, but the way I got started in network marketing was I had a guy that found me on a list of graduates. So, so there, was a, there was literally a list of names at Long Beach State on people that were graduating from the marketing department. So these are people that like, were on the list of grads. So I guess he qualified me to some extent. Well, this guy has gotten to a point where he's graduating and he's graduating from the marketing department. You know, who knows? So he literally cold called me and that's how I got introduced to network marketing. So, you know, uh, I guess that's a little bit different than, you know, going after people that uh, quit school after third grade, you know. So maybe there's greater odds of me winning potentially if I, you know, went past the third grade. I don't know. Uh, so this is kind of an interesting exercise that I want to I want to give you. So if you were to describe your ideal candidate, your perfect person. What, what would you say about that person? Like, and this is something like when we look at, like a lot of companies will do this, uh, lots of companies will do this. They'll, they'll, they'll define their avatar. Their avatar is their, you know, that, that, uh, that perfect candidate. Like your, who's your, who's your, like who is your ideal candidate? Who's your best customer? Like, how would you describe that person? What do they do? What are their interests? What do they read? Where do they hang out? What, um, you know, what books, what magazines do they subscribe to? What websites do they visit? What do they do on the weekends? Now, again, that's going to vary greatly, of course. But what would be very interesting for you to do? And if you've never done this, this is, this is, this is a great exercise. You, if we started defining like, okay, if, like, and we're talking about your next superstar leader in your network marketing business, how would you describe them? Like what words would you use to describe them? Um, nasty, negative, skeptical, uh, pessimistic, uh, lazy. What else? Uh, I don't know. Probably none of those, right? We wouldn't, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't describe that person using any of those words, would we? So what words would we use to describe that person? Have you ever actually taken the time to write down and, and start to define, like, what are the characteristics that you're looking for in a, you know, uh, in a person that's going to be a leader in your organization, so I guess one of the characteristics, even though this guy, I'm sure, never did it with me, was uh, finishes what he starts. Like, at least, I mean, I finished college. I graduated from college. Uh, has an interest in marketing. Well, that, so, I mean, from that standpoint, even though this guy probably didn't, I know for a fact Jim did not sit there and go, I'm going to write down description. Of, like, I don't even know if the avatar, avatar probably wasn't even a word back then. 
you know, I'm going to write down this description, you know, um, finishes what they start, um, you know, uh, has a background or understanding in marketing. Those are the two things that I had. I mean, I finished college and I had a background, at least I had an education in marketing. But if we went deeper than that, if we actually took the time to write it down, what, what would you write down? Like when I, I'm, I'm like, and I'm not going to give you all the words. I think this would be a really good exercise for you to, to do on your own. But I would write words down like, I don't know, um, outgoing, fun, funny, hardworking, <coughs> honest, ethical, uh, money motivated, uh, you know, I don't know, coachable. Like I, you, you've got to come up with those words. That's your job. But if you've never done this, because if you've never done this, then maybe today would be the day. Today would be the day that you're going to actually, I'm going to, I'm going to define my customer avatar. I'm going to define my rep, my ideal rep avatar. Who, who you know, what, uh, what, what do they like to do? You know, what do they, you know, where, where, where do they hang out? Where do they congregate? Like, where, where, like for example, where would, um, like if, if I was dealing with a, a, a real estate person, you know, and it's like, oh, this, this person does real estate. They they like to make money on commissions. They they're they're good at pro they're good at prospecting. They're people people. Where do the realtors hang out? If I wanted to like you know think about okay where can I go find these people? Well, well those realtors probably attend real estate investment education courses. They uh, you know they're in, they're involved in you know, they're probably involved in, in the community to get out, you know, maybe they're involved in, I don't know, the Seroptimus, or they're involved in the Chamber of Commerce, or they're, so this is, these are places that they might congregate because they're like committed to growing their business. So you can not only, what you can do through this exercise, which is interesting, is you can get greater clarity on what you're looking for. So then when that person appears in your life, oh, that person has the exact quality or some of the qualities that I'm looking for in that ideal person, you'll know it. Like, think about it. Like, if we put down um, super outgoing, and then you meet somebody who's just, like, super outgoing, you're thinking, oh, that, that, that matches exactly, like, one of the key character traits of somebody that I'm looking to put into my business. It's going to, like, bing. Like, versus the person who comes into the party, and they go hide in the corner, and they're sipping their little beverage, and their, their eyes are down, and they don't want to talk to anybody. That's, that's not the outgoing person. Not that that person couldn't succeed in network marketing, but what this does is it helps you, it helps you to see them when they appear in your life. And it helps you to think more clearly about where you might find those people. Because I think that, you know, when we're growing a business like this, you should be thinking about like, hey, where do I find good people? How do I find, you know, uh, great individuals to put in my business? Which is w one of the things that was my initial thought when, when I got into recruiting professionals. My thought, my exact question in my head is, where's all the good people at? Like, that was literally the question that I had in my, my mind. Where's all the people that like sound great, that, you know, that are outgoing, that like making money on commissions, that hustle, that, gets, that get it done? And I was like, it was weird because I, I had a Homes and Land magazine on my desk. And it was like, oh, realtors. Wait, they're all, they make money on commissions. They, they're outgoing. They hustle. They work, they work on the weekends doing open houses. Well, what, I mean, that, that to me, it was like a, kind of a perfect match, which is why I continue to and continue to recruit professionals for years into my network marketing businesses. So uh, if you've never done this exercise, it'd be a great thing. And you might even want to take a piece of paper, split it down the middle. And on the right side of the page, like I don't like these are the character traits that I'm not looking for. And so you can avoid the, this group and you can nab this group. But then I think it'll it'll help you to know rather than just like, oh, I'm just looking for people, which is fine. It's better than sitting on the sidelines doing nothing. But at least in this instance, it's going to help you to see those people when they appear in your life. And you're gonna, it's going to make you think differently. It's going to make you go, wait, where do people like that, where do they go? What, do they, what, what kind of things do they do? Where do they hang out? Are they, are they hanging out at 6 a.m. at the local tavern? I don't know. I mean, when you see a bar that's open up at 6 a.m. and you're, I don't know, is that, is, that, is that really the candidate that you're looking for? Somebody that's going to throw down a cocktail at 6 o'clock in the morning and belly up to a bar? Probably not. So just some thoughts. So this, if, this is, if, this is, if this is an exercise you've never done, do it. I think you're going to find it good. So, all right. If you're on my YouTube channel, what's up, YouTubers? If you're on my podcast, listen to me on audio, um, come on over to my page on this episode. We've got some cool resources for you guys. ToddFalcone.com forward slash episode 142. Okay? 
We'll see you guys. Have an amazing day.